you. Fuck it is, man. It's big L's of this bitch, Ruby. Shoot niggas, bad or dog. Nah. Real quick, bro. So, I was just watching Rum Nitty on the Big Homie show, bro. Shout out to, uh, shout out to, um, damn, how the fuck I forget his name. Shout out to Debo. Shout out to Rum Nitty. Shout out to 15 Minutes of Fabi. Fabi. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga Rum Nitty said something that was crazy, bro. Like, that shit, like, bro, I'm talking about that shit was gospel, right? He said, being a puncher isn't a longevity style. Like, because you know it's different styles of battle rap. You know, you got the puncher, you got the angler, you got the funny guy, you got, you feel me, different styles. So he said, punching isn't a long isn't a longevity style you're not gonna last long because and he gave a good example he said think about all the greatest punches in battle rap none of them had long careers none of them had longevity in battle rap and i thought about it and i'm like damn that's crazy he right he right bro now i want to give you now now i gotta give you uh now i gotta give you my perspective you feel me I wanna, I, I'm gonna finish watching the video, but I was just once that once that shit hit me, I was like, I gotta speak on this. I only I'm, I only think I'm like fucking like maybe like three four minutes through the video, or whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain why I feel like punching isn't a longevity style because I agree with that. I feel like punching isn't a longevity style because everybody do it. You gotta think about it, bro. Punching is the foundation of battle rap, bro. Just, like go back to some of the oldest battles. What always got the the crowd to participate? What what, uh, what, uh, what was it that always uh that always garnered a, a crowd reaction? It was a punchline. Feel me? A metaphor. You get what I'm saying? A simile, like a punchline. That's what it was in funny shit. But me, but even in funny shit, it's still some kind of metaphor. It's still a punchline in there. Not all the time, all the time, but I'm just saying. You feel me? Punchlines, watch Eight Mile back in 2002. Punchlines, like you feel me? Everybody does it. That's I'm explaining it to 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 establish the point to substantiate that everybody punches. This as a battle rapper today, into in today's world, you you gotta know how to punch. I don't give a fuck what style of style you got. Even performers, even performance based battle rappers punch. But watch this. Now I'm gonna tell you since we're speaking about performing. Now I'm going to tell you what style is the longevity one. Performance, bro. Being a performer, bro. Knowing how to fucking control a crowd. Knowing how to rock the stage, bro. Knowing how to make people react. Knowing how to get them to participate. Like, knowing how to move on that, on that fucking stage, bro. No matter what era you put a performer in. They go and thrive, bro. Why? Because people love to be entertained, bro. People love to be entertained, bro. And we're visual people, bro. We're visual. That's why you can say something hard, but if you're just standing there looking all plain and dull, it ain't gonna have the same effect on a person if you was like really like had body language and like really was moving. You feel me? It's just, that's why performing amplifies what you say. The way you move when you say it, the way you look when you say it. So performance is the fucking uh you know the, the longevity style in my opinion. And I mean that's I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it, bro. That's just my perspective on it. Shout out to Nitty though, man. You mad at dog.